welcome to Affordable EDC, where we try and show you some great values without sacrificing quality for your everyday carry needs. Today, a holster, outside the waistband holster from True Fit Tactical. I have been wearing this very same holster now for just about a month. I purchased this from True Fit on Amazon. I tried a few different holsters um, in the same model from different uh, manufacturers and this came up by far superior to those other holsters now this one is for a g3 i carry a g3c in it and i'll tell you why in a minute why i why i purchased a g3 model holster instead of a g3c holster let's go over this holster 0.08 kydex a nice solid kydex and um you know you've got a variety of finishes i've got it in carbon fiber black you i think od green carbon fiber and a multitude of other colors available in left hand or right hand draw this is a right hand draw by the way what made me uncertain at first about this holster were really the this hardware here you know they're made in the usa everything here is made in the usa i, I thought this hardware might just make this less comfortable or maybe even hindered concealment i just wasn't sure and i tried it i used this with a good gun belt i used the blue alpha edc buckleless belt um, you know, these belt loops just kind of really fit snug on it. They're just the perfect size. When your belt's loose, you can easily move your gun. You just put a little bit of tension. You don't have to overdo it. Your gun stays in place. And, and that's, you know, that's really important. But you can move it if you need to. Um, I also found that these loops, instead of the regular belt loops that usually just sit in the back directly hidden, these belt loops really really make that gun melt into you with the belt it just kind of pulls in the holster to your body and it's just incredible how comfortable it is and how well it conceals for me i'm average build of 510 170 pounds maybe 175 you know for my body type this works really really well in the three to four o'clock position is where i've tried it i've seen people convert these uh you know in one of the reviews on amazon where they actually made you know they put clips here on the outside and made it an inside the waistband holster anything's possible with a little bit of ingenuity now the other thing that really sets this one apart from other models i tried in the same price range most of their holsters are about 35 dollars is there are no squeaks these holes are riveted together. Uh, this kydex is not moving one part on the other when you move, when you have it tight against you with or without a gun in it. And, and that's really important. You know, it fits solidly against you. It hugs your body. It's there. It helps you conceal well. I've concealed with a loose t-shirt with this. I've tried it. Now it's a little cooler here in Florida. You know, I tend to wear shirts. It's just that much easier to conceal outside the waistband. Uh, in summer, I usually carry inside the waistband appendix. Um, but you know, you, you always print. You go to the beach and you got the wind on you. It, it's never easy to fully, fully conceal when, it, when it's really hot here in Florida. Um, but you know, once it gets a little cooler, outside the waistband is, I think, is the way to go. And, and this really works for me. Now, let me show you the G3C inside this G3 uh, holster. First of all, clear the gun. There's nothing in there. I have a magazine. It is empty and let's take a look at this first of all the overall length if i you know line this up right here you can see you know you see the g3's longer barrel there's extra space in this holster which is basically you know a nicely rounded out tip it's open so you don't accumulate anything in your holster another thing i do with these holsters is i use a silicone gun rack uh, a gun rag i mean and uh, it just you know you just kind of wipe the inside and you know some people are worried about scratches on their guns it helps minimize that but also makes you know holstering and drawing your weapon all that much smoother in these holsters now i've seen you know some brands will sell you these little spray cans two three sprays they're gone ten bucks is gone the uh, rags, the silicone gun cleaning rags, are just about two or three dollars uh, at your local gun store. So you know, I really highly suggest you get one of those. Uh, all holsters will collect lint, uh, a little less with OWB, but you always have a shirt uh, over it. So you know, the silicone, the inconveniences, you'll collect a little more lint a little more quickly. So you gotta just clean it a little more often. 
Now, you know, good retention, good positive click. I have, you know, I'm not afraid of this gun going anywhere right now. This is a nice solid fit. Now, the reason I've got that extra space here is one of the reasons I purchased the G3 over the G3C holster is I'm ordering a Lakeline LLC threaded barrel with a micro compensator help with recoil on this shorter more compact gun i'm used to you know full-size pistols um see that should work it should work well in this holster i just got just the space i need to accommodate that uh, without having to modify the holster and it's all going to be buried behind the kydex that's the first reason and once i get that done i'll you know i'll review that and, and show you um, what it looks like and if it actually works or not if it's worth the expense or not because you know technically the upgrade is half the price of this budget handgun uh, and the reason I've got a G3C on affordable EDC is just because it is an affordable entry-level popular handgun uh, that you know has some level of reliability that you can use for everyday carry for self-protection the second reason I chose this holster, well, again goes with our theme of affordable EDC. Instead of being $35, it is currently $20 on Amazon. Uh, TrueFit Tactical sells directly on Amazon. They have their Amazon store. and put the link here below. And, you know, you could go directly to this holster or see whatever ho other holsters they have for your guns. I have a uh, SIG P226 with rail. It fits wonderfully. I'll do another review on that. Um, same finish. Uh, I love this gun on it. The other one's more of a full-size pistol. It still carries like a dream with a shirt like this. It just conceals really, really, really well. So, you know, all in all, I think this is a, is a great holster. I'll just show you a little closer to you like this. See the inside of the gun see the holster like this one other feature it is nice and trim here right under the trigger guard so when you do pull and draw you're not rubbing against kydex you can go have a nice secure grip on your gun full grip and you don't have to modify that grip so you know it's overall an excellent design extremely comfortable it's affordable made in the usa and honestly it competes so well with more expensive holsters and it is really above and beyond better than other holsters that are at its price range. So it, it, it really compares to expensive holsters, more expensive holsters, and it does a great job. It, it's just a value compared to other holsters in its category. So if you like what we've got here, you know, please you know, like, subscribe if you want. If you want us to review something in particular that's affordable, you don't know if it's worth the money, let us know. We'll try and put our hands on it and we'll give you our opinion of until then, thank you very much for joining us. This is kind of our first episode. So, you know, any criticism, constructive criticism, just, you know, don't, don't be shy. Put it down in the comments. We just want to get this channel off the ground going. And I just want this channel to, to, to just be a great channel for anyone who's on a budget but needs to carry every day, uh, you know, an actor's Second Amendment rights and uh, just be able to defend themselves and their family. Thank you very much for, for joining us. Yeah.